Hey, 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 how are we doing guys? So I'm in a place called Dalton, which is where I walked you last night. So sorry about all the trucks going by. Bashed out 30 odd miles, stayed in this random person's back garden. He lets like hikers stay there, which is awesome and super, super kind. I'm gonna sound so ungrateful when I say this, but there's no toilet. And so it's like, what do you do? And so I woke up this morning, it was like, oh my God, I am going to shit myself and there's nowhere to go. And then you have thoughts running through your head, like, can I go in the bushes, but you can't. Then it's like, do I do it in a plastic bag? Like, what do I do? Then I sort of asked it, you know, I politely sort of said, look, is it possible? I don't think I'm gonna be able to make it down to the garage, um, which is like half a mile away, which is obviously, you know, only would take like six minutes normally. When you've bashed out 30 miles, trust me, it's gonna take a lot longer than six minutes. And I was like, do you mind if I eat? And he's like, no, I don't allow people in the house, which is fine. And then obviously <laughs> a little bit of a miscommunication about my understanding of what a garage is. Uh, anyway, uh, I made it to the toilet, it's all good. Did my resupply, went to this place called Java, had some um, breakfast, did some Wi-Fi. But I basically haven't had Wi-Fi for like a week which is incredibly frustrating because I can't upload any video footage and update Instagram or anything like that. Um, but these things happen. Yeah, so Dalton, 621 miles to go, 26 days to do it in. Um, still feeling pretty emotional about it all, to be honest. Like, uh, yeah, I don't wanna, I don't wanna start crying again. I've, Got to, <laughs> I need you in the woods by myself before I start sobbing and thinking, oh, what am I doing? How am I going to do it? But heading back to the trail now, get back on the trail, get walking, see how far I can do today. All right, chat you later. Do you know what I'm almost waiting for is I know there's going to be this switch which is going to go off in my head when it's gonna be like, right, now is the time. We've got to really, really push it. You know, I'm gonna be like a woman on a mission. But I just don't know when that switch is gonna happen. And I don't know if I can force that switch. It's like, it's like studying before your exams when you get the fear and you're like, oh my God, right, I've got to do this now. There's no, there's no time left. And I think days between 30, 30 days to go and 25 days to go, maybe even up to 20, I don't know, I still think I'm suffering from all these sort of doubts and insecurities and just like, you know, what am I gonna do? How am I gonna do it? Whereas I think it will, or I hope it gets to this point, whether it's 20 days to go when it's like, okay, this is what I've got to do. This is how we're gonna do it. No more excuses, no more, no more feeling sorry for myself. Just get on with it. And I'm always waiting for that to happen. It's like, like the sprint finish or the final finish or the final six miles in a marathon when you're like, okay, let's just push on through the pain. You know it's gonna hurt anyway, but you're so close to the finish line and that you can, or I can always give myself that final push or that final boost. And that's almost what I'm waiting for. I'm, I'm just hoping that when that switch goes off, that I haven't left it too late and that, I can complete it in, in the time frame. That's what the train's looking like at the moment. Woody, rooty, a little bit rocky. Starting the day, left Alton. Big old hill to climb, always the way. Um, but one step at a time, just get to the next tree, get to the next place, just keep moving forward no matter what the obstacles are. Okay. Right, folks, we've walked about four miles. We made it to a Crystal Mountain campsite. We're obviously not staying here. We're gonna be carrying on this way, uphill to about elevation of about 2,100. Now I've got a long, slow descent, which we like. guys just stopping off for a little quick uh, ice cream and some Gatorade hmm. yeah they they had the sandwiches and they had ice cream they've got everything here fabulous yes please um yeah. be wonderful thank you, you want to 
a dish, please. Thank you. Small, medium, large. Large, please. Thank you. I've had my ice cream. I've topped up my Gatorade. I'm ready for this like seven mile uphill section. About to plug in, listen to podcast going for Gary V today. We're going to use his words of inspiration to keep me going. Up, up, up. That's where we're going to go. This is what it's looking like. Here we go. To Mount Greylock Summit, 6.8 miles, and then onto the Wilbur Clearing Shelter. But we're going to be far going in further than that. This is where we're going, folks. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, can't really see it, but it's going to be the mountains in the distance. Massachusetts is all about the mud, guys and girls. Oh yeah, this is what we're battling through. Roots and mud. All fun and games, all fun and games. Whoop! Been climbing this mountain for the past two hours. We've still got 2.6 miles to go to get to the summit. Booyah! Hey guys, so the time is 5.30. I'm just trying to decide what to do. I'm still climbing um, this mountain, so Mount Greylock. It's basically just been from going from elevation 970 all the way up to 3,491. Um, and then there's like, like another four miles down. Time now is, I think I've just said 5.30 and I'm not sure what to do because the next shelter coming up is at 1,589, so it means I would have done 20 miles today. But then if I want to get to the shelter, the following shelter, which would be in Vermont, Vermont, would be 1,599.1, but I have to stay in a shelter tonight because my tent is is sodden and basically I've been walking through the green tunnel. There's I haven't had a chance to dry it out anywhere. So uh, I don't, I'm thinking I'm going to have to stay at this Wilbur Clearing Shelter because then I'll get there about 7 o'clock, have an early night and then get up super early tomorrow morning and then just have to have a really big day um, just because otherwise I'm going to, if I try and get to Steth Warner Shelter, I'm probably not going to arrive until, you know, half nine, ten o'clock and if the shelter's full, I'm absolutely screwed, um, which is just frustrating, but yeah, that's what, that's what I'm thinking, but I'll keep you updated on what on what I decide but having a really good day so far I am just bashing out the miles I mean I didn't annoyingly you know again I didn't start until about I think it was about 10 o'clock because I had like an hour on wi-fi and all of this so sorry for all the excuses but I just need to sort my life out but at least I've done the past two days at least I've done 30 odd miles so I'm I'm okay but it could be better one mile to summit Guys, this is so cool. I was just not expecting this. Check this out. How high up must this lake be? So I've just been walking along on these boards for quite a while. But here we go, more boards. How cool is that? Oh my goodness. Gorgeous. I think this is the summit. Uh, disappointed. There's like three composting toilets over there. An old lodge. That is disappointing after a seven mile hike up. Oh, I'm hoping it's a summit. Maybe it's a full summit. Maybe there's another summit. Right, let's get to the shelter because I need to sleep in the shelter. Okay, come on. It was another false summit. This is the summit and summit and war memorial, which you can see over there. Wow, looks very impressive. Much better than the composting toilets that we saw. Right, let's see where we go now, folks. Let's see where we go. But that is the memorial. Very cool. Now, I'm not sure if you can read this, but Mount Greylock, elevation 3,491 feet, 600 million years ago, Sarah was under a warm, shallow ocean, blah, 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 okay, okay. Some pretty views. We've got my mountain coming up, look, Mount Williams. Oh yeah. 
Hey guys, I've made it to the top of my mountain, Mount Williams. Not quite sure what the elevation is, but it's all good. Woohoo! Right guys, it is at the moment, it is 7.21. So a couple of options. I'm just on the road at the moment. It's 0.1 to, um, to the shelter. I'm gonna see to the Wilbur Clearing Shelter. I'm gonna see um, if there's space there. If there's not, I'm gonna carry on for another three miles to a place called Mass 2, like North Adams, uh, which will take me to 1,592. Um, <laughs> and then get accommodation there. So I've got two options, so both both are win-win situations. So let's just see what it's like. And also I'm going to see what the vibe is like at the shelter. I've passed like quite a lot of people. And I don't know how busy it's going to be. And also I don't know if it's, because um, you're also meeting like a lot of southbounders at the moment and I just want to like sleep and be a bit boring. And if it's a bit more of a party vibe, I'm, I'm just not up for that. I just can't hack it. So um, yeah, I'm just going to play things by ear and see what happens, but I'll keep you updated. Hey guys, so it is five to eight. I've made it to the shelter. I've got my tent hung up, um, which I don't think you can see. Can you see that? Possibly not. Um, so my tent is hung up, my tent is drying. I've just slammed down about a thousand calories, which makes me feel amazing. I am going to put my bag in the bear box and then get into bed. I'm going to be in bed by 8.30 so I can have a really good night's sleep. Getting up super early tomorrow, I'm going to bash out some more miles and get back on top of everything. Thank you so much for watching all these videos. I really do appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe. Shout out to Flynn as always for doing a phenomenal job with the editing. I do hope you can see me. Um, I will be responding to all of the comments when I get come back. So tomorrow there will be 25 days to do to do this to reach Mount Katahdin by 10th September so yeah big push is definitely needed I need to up my game and uh, yeah come uh, come along and watch uh, watch the journey all right take care lots of love bye